Oh, this is disability Mike, <laughs> and and this is this is uh Henry old school. This is a uh, green card hand Hank, green card Hank. Oh my. <laughs> green card Hank. Okay, Casper Polar Bear Joe. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is our very first video review, so uh, we try our best to review some of these bad games and bad movies for you. All right. And good games and good movies. No, we won't. We're not gonna do any of that. All right. All right. So, first game we're gonna be reviewing is uh, the Punisher and the, the Game Boy Pocket, right? Yeah. All right. All right. All right. So uh, that's gonna uh, be up to me. Stop. <laughs> and uh, card Henry. And green card. Henry and Hank, whatever the hell you want to call him, because... GOD DAMN IT! <laughs> um, he's going to be reviewing The Punisher, Game Boy Pocket. Hello everybody, this is Old School Hank, or better known as Green Card Hank, from Retarded Mike's little intro. And I'm going to be talking about The Punisher, the ultimate payback for the Game Boy Pocket, released in 1991 by LJN. Now, we all know LJN does not release any kind of good game or fun game for the Game Boy Pocket, but they actually done a really great job with this game. This starts off with the Punisher telling you how he has to punish every drug lord and gang member in the city, and it's basically a rail shooter, just like Time Crisis. You have to shoot everything in sight except the innocent people. Now, you don't do this by yourself. Of course, your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man helps you out throughout the process. And that's basically it throughout the whole game. You shoot, you save people. Which is pretty weird because there's people still shopping when this all hectic uh, event that's going on. Now let's talk about the graphics. The graphics is okay for the Game Boy Pocket for its time. And everything is pretty much shootable. And it says you shoot windows, boxes people, uh, you get power-ups, grenades, shotguns, health, one-ups, anything they can think of. Now Spider-Man really doesn't do much in this game, he just comes up and saves the girl who you saved at, in the first time, which is pretty stupid, but hell, it's, what, am I, it's, what am I complaining about? But uh, this game is alright, there's only like about maybe five levels that I know of, and I don't know, if you see this up, if you're a big Punisher fan, I would say pick it up. And if you're not, then don't. Alright, cool. Now it's on to Mike. There are no words to describe how much I hate the aliens in this fucking movie. Okay? I mean, they're ripping everything apart, they're destroying everything. But then, in the middle of the fucking movie, they just start fucking falling down because they're not immune- they're not- they have no immunity. Like these human diseases, they just like fall down like, like a, my fucking grandpa when he has a stroke. Okay, what the fuck? And then in signs, okay, these these things are like you don't even see them. They're really creepy and stuff. Then they get to the end, and they're like the fucking wicked witch of the west. Like Joaquin Phoenix takes like a bat and like breaks like all these glasses of water on like their face, and then they're burning like melting and shit. What the hell? I'm, god damn. I mean like. Come on! I think... I'm not even kidding you. I think Ray Charles could have probably put up a better fight than these aliens. I kid you not. Alright? Tourette's reviewer out.